to Yelich, and he struck him out, and that's how the game begins. DeGrom with the strikeout. From the best guess you can make, is Solano strikes out. Also, Victor Martinez resigns the Detroit Tigers, and Pablo Sandoval is recently getting an offer in from the Red Sox, and Billy Buzzer is now hopefully athletic. I like the club owners spending a lot of money, and I think the VMAR deal was great. Yeah, also, I like that Jacob DeGrom guy with the awkward hair winning the Rookie of the Year for the National League. I like him. He and he and um, Matt Harvey will be fun to watch in 2015. They're going to be a great dynamic duo in 2015. They're both studs. We're Nate and Blaze. This has been baseball. Next is basketball. Welcome. We are going to talk about the upcoming NBA season. What do you think is going to happen in the East? In the Northwest, I think the Raptors are going to stay in shape just enough to snag the easiest division. And then in the Central, I think Chicago is going to take away the division from Cleveland. Crossover move, wild sweeping. Even though all the hype about LeBron, Kevin Love, and Kyrie, I think they need the chemistry first before they can become successful. And then in the Southeast, I think Miami will just barely take away the division. Wade, what a break! Even without LeBron away from Washington. Finally, the defending champs, the Spurs, are going to take the division away. Shot clock to two, Parker. But not by a commanding lead like last year. Teams like Memphis, Dallas, and Houston are going to bug them, as will old age. Who's going to take home the NBA championship? I think it'll be OKC versus Chicago, and OKC will take it in six. Hard collision, Westbrook shaken up. Welcome, we are going to be talking about soccer around the world. Currently in Spain, the Barca Madrid rivalry is as heated as ever. Real Madrid, excuse me, won La Liga last year, which is suitable for Barca's fire to make another major trade. And that trade was Luis Suarez from Liverpool. Liverpool got roughly 70 million for this striker and used that money to purchase Balotelli, the Italian striker, for about 15 million in transfer fees. In international business, I believe that Germany's World Cup win is just one title in an era of world soccer. Real Madrid was thirsty for new talent, and this young prospect should be expected to get a lot of assists off Ronaldo, which maybe not as many for himself. He only has one goal so far, while Ronaldo has 13. Thanks, Evan. Next, we'll be talking about college football. So, Ryan, what do you think about college football this year? Well, Evan, college football has been very intense and interesting this year. And a lot of teams have surprised us so far. And Mississippi State took over number one in the country. U of M has been having some offensive and defensive line. So here are the top 15 teams. Number one, Mississippi State. Number two, Florida State. Number three, Ole Miss. Number four, Baylor. Number five, Notre Dame. Number six. Number seven, 
this name. Auburn, number seven. Alabama, number eight. Michigan State, number nine. Oregon, number 10. Georgia, number 11. Oklahoma, number 12. TCU, number 13. Ohio State, number 14. Kansas State, and finally, number 15. Oklahoma State. Welcome. We are going to talk about the NFL now. Hello, we have top five rankings for each player in week nine. And also, we're going to talk about teams that have been looking so good. And also, um, we're going to look at the Patriots, the Eagles, the Cowboys, and the Lions. First, we're going to talk about the New England Patriots. The New England Patriots have been struggling lately. But with Tom Brady coming around a little bit, They've gotten a little bit better. I mean, it's the Detroit Lions. Even if Calvin Johnson and Reggie Bush injured so far, Golden Tate has been a powerhouse for them. And Matt Stafford is having one of his best career years since 2011. Also, the Philadelphia Eagles defense have been very surprising lately. They've They've helped their team much in the beginning of the year, even with Sean McCoy not pl playing as good as he usually does. He does. JD has not been very good this year. And then Nick Foles has been doing very well this year. The Dallas Cowboys have been very good lately, even though their very bad overtime loss to Redskins boosted them down a little bit, even losing Tony Romo, and he's been one of their key quarterbacks this year, and one of the key quarterbacks in the... Yeah, but no one's out. I told you to let it rock. Wow. And I felt this year. DeMarco Murray has been a surprise. He might, be, he might win MVP if he continues what he's doing. He's got over 100 yards in each of his eight games he's played. He's got 1,056 yards, which is 300 more than any other player in the NFL. Now here are our top five rankings for every position. The quarterbacks. Number one, Penny Manning. Number two, Drew Brees. Number three, Andrew Luck. Number four, Philip Rivers. Number five, Aaron Rodgers. And for running backs, number one, DeMarco Murray. Number two, Le'Veon Bell. Number three, Marshawn Lynch. Number four, Arian Foster. And number five, Matt Forte. And for wide receivers, number one, Jordy Nelson. Number two, Calvin Johnson. Number three, Demarius Thomas. Number four, Antonio Brown. And number five, Des Bryant. For tight end, Julius Thomas, number one. Number two, Jordan Cameron. Number three, Delaney Walker. Number four, Antonio Gates. Number five, Greg Olson. All right, thank you for watching Sports HQ. Goodbye.